My name is Francesco Tonin. My family has been making wine in Italy for almost 200 years. We had an idea to bring three people to Italy and see if we could teach them how to truly be Italian. How to cook like an Italian, how to enjoy wine like an Italian, how to live like an Italian. The next day, our contestants find themselves relaxing on the canals of Venice. However, little do they know that Francesco has something else in mind. Yo guys, come on, we gotta try the gondola, oh my gosh. How you doing? Well, I've always thought that Italy was one of the most romantic places ever. The gondola ride was really exciting. My Italian is getting so much better already. <laughs> Ciao. Ciao. What's the one thing that we should bring back to the States that we have to buy? Yeah, what do we need? Prosecco. You got to do it this way. Prosecco. With emphasis, baby. One, two, three. Prosecco. Prosecco. <laughs> yeah. So here I am, thinking I'm on vacation. I'm riding down the canal in a gondola. It's beautiful. I get up to the bridge and we see Francesco. I think I see him. Is that him? Where? Right over there. Oh, yeah. I see the bridge up ahead. Ciao, Francesco. Oh, hey. Francesco, we're here, baby. Ciao. Yeah. Ciao, Ciao, Francesco. Francesco, so good to see you. How you doing, man? Good to see you. Yes. And welcome to we're Venice. Here. Thank you. How's it going so far? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. awesome, Great. awesome. We rode in on the gondola. This is my first, first time. Same here. A gondola? Yes. I had, I had, to, I had to bring him in right. He was our tour guide. He was our tour guide. Yes. And now we're so excited to explore and just see what else. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. Yeah. I have news right. for you. Uh -oh. You are not here on vacation. What? No. You're here to experience what Italian means. What really means to be Italian. So there's gonna be no vacation. <laughs> no vacation. No fun. Not even a little bit. No, not at all. We're not what? gonna enjoy Venice. Okay. I'm kidding. But, but. We're here on a mission. Oh, oh my right? crazy. You came here you because you want to experience what it means to be Italian. Yeah. To eat like an Italian. Yes. Yeah. But we start from cooking like an Italian. So the first challenge is buying ingredients for the next recipe. Remember Lynn we met at the market in Nashville? This is gonna be a little bit different. It's the Rialto market in Venice. You're gonna be given a list of ingredients you need to buy and some money to buy it. And a walkie-talkie, so you don't get lost, and I can check up on you. <laughs> oh, wow. All right? This is crazy. All right. This is crazy. And the other good news is you have one hour to complete this challenge. Good news? Yeah. Kind of nervous right now. And when you cook, you're going to be judged. What? All right? <laughs> and the hour starts now. Oh my Just God, go. Let's go. Guys, the market, oh, this oh, way. God. Run! This is crazy! Gosh, hurry, 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 hurry! I haven't read a map in years. You're gonna cook and you're gonna compete against each other. And you have an hour to shop. He's joking, right? <laughs> and I'm just running around down some stairs and I, I end up like almost ran into some water. I circled back Gosh. around. It's the narrowest street ever. I felt like the walls just shrunk for a second. I'm like walking through like, okay, how did this wall street slash building just start closing in on me. It was crazy. Excuse me, excuse me. Every once in a while, Francesco would check in on us, and at one point, it, I was actually just about two blocks away from the market. Hey, Dave, can you hear me? Ciao, Francesco. Where are you? Uh, I think I'm near the market. I'm at Cala de la Donzella. Donzella, you know what it means? Nice, pretty girl. <laughs> That's what it means. That's funny. By the way, it's also a good sign. It should be like a couple of blocks away from the market. Oh, yes, I do see it. I'm on my way. Navigating the streets of Venice was tricky. I probably ran in circles 95 times. It was exciting, though. I definitely stumbled on some things that I probably wouldn't have. If Not a big fish fan, but this is amazing. <laughs> There were some weird things in that market that just made me like pause for a second. Excuse me, uh, I need some branzino. That's not it. That's the wrong thing. This is thing. it. No, no, no. Trust That's me, wrong. this is it. It's over there. I got it before you. Oh yeah. Okay. That's it. <laughs> I touched it. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's not a good drink. Italians speaking and shouting. People were everywhere. Excuse me. Grabbing this, grabbing oh. vegetables, seafood. And I'm just running around the crazy American that doesn't speak any Italian. I know what that is. Branzino. Branzino. Buongiorno, ciao. I need a pomodoro, making a pasta and a clams. She needs some green beans. So, get out of here. You go find your own. Quanta? Oh my god! <laughs> it's good. It's my pasta. Grazie. Clams and mussels. No? Mussels? Okay, so how much? Hello? Nobody wants to help me. What did you say these are again? Pongole? Italia. Italia. Pongole. They went away. Woo! 50? Five. Five. This one? I had to get the pasta. And I get to one little vendor, and Katie already beat me there. Uh, spaghetti. Did you find the pasta? Um, yes, I just found it. This is the right kind. Uh, do I? Uno solo. Uno? I've been looking forever no, for this. I've been looking forever for this. Maybe I'll go help you find something somewhere else. How about that? Is that a good deal? Okay. All right. Uno. She took the last bag of pasta. I was a little frustrated. I lost my pasta, so I said, I'm going to go get a spritz. I'm just gonna chill out, and of course, then Francesco walkies me. Lynn, can you hear me? Ciao, Francesco. Where are you? At the market? Yeah, I'm at the market. Sounds unusually quiet. It's a little quiet. Lynn doesn't remember. Tick tock. Tick tock. I'm just playing. Hurry up. Ciao. I don't think Francesca saw through my lie. Just a little, little white lie. I pick out my Branzino, walking around the market and Francesco calls me. There's Roy, how's it going? Oh, no, oh gosh, oh. Yeah, Francesco, everything's cool? You sure? I'll be there in a second. Okay, man, just be fast. And I'm hustling, I'm sweating. It's a crazy day, but it was a great time and I had a lot of fun. Now that each contestant has bought what they need from the market, it's time for a master class in Italian techniques from a very special guest. Buongiorno ragazzi. Buongiorno. Say hello to Fabrizio Nonis. He's a great master and a great friend of mine. I know you experienced some cooking class in your families in Italy, mm -hmm. but today is a real thing. So good luck. Thank you. Fabrizio. We're gonna need it. Kind of nervous. Grazie Francesco. Bye. See you guys. Ciao. Ciao. So welcome in the kitchen. Ready to cook? Yes, yes. So first of all, take off your watch, your rings, wash your hands, and let's start. What you got here is vongole, cozze, you got branzino, special fish from Venice. We have to combine many ingredients in a simple way. So, first of all, teach you how to cook the branzino. We got some salt, a little bit of oil. There is some rosemary here. That's the only herb that you would use? Inside, yes, because okay. after we can take it away. So, we put it inside with some oil, we put some salt. The garlic is something absolutely important in the fish. But we have to do something. Cut it in the middle and take off this. So we close. And then we are going to cook the fish with some potatoes. You just take off the outside. It's very simple. Um, simple what I'm going simple. to teach you, try to teach you, of course, is to cook in a simple way. When you got a great ingredients, you have only to cook it in a simple way. Okay. That's it. So, this is ready. We put it in the oven. We will leave it for around 45, uh, 45, 55 minutes. So now what we are going to cook is a, a typical pasta, spaghetti al scoglio. Okay. So what we got is vongole and scampi. We are boiling the water. In this case, we use the salt. Good oil. So the olive oil, is it just to uh, coat the pan so it doesn't stick or is it more for flavor? No, it's uh, both of them. So we got some peperoncino. In this we don't cut it too thin because otherwise it will be too spicy. You know? They all cook at the same time? We can cook it uh, together because we are not going to cook it very much. So yes. it's kind of sauteing for like 10 minutes or so or how long? Ah, uh, maybe less because this will be cooked very fast. 
never do this. Huh? Uh, never. Never. The cardinal sin in America. In this case, the spaghetti, it's, um, I think in six, seven minutes it's ready. Okay. Oh, you see? Wow. Look at all shrimps change colors. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You want to taste? <laughs> <laughs> so, the pasta is, it's okay, it's ready. Remember to take it out yeah, because you have to finish to cook it inside here. And so this part is what, like another minute to? Yes, around one minute. And yes. is the pan still on high? Always. Always on high, yes. okay. So, the pasta is ready. Everything is done. It's your turn to cook and to show. You ready? Ready. Yeah. One, two, three, four, go. <laughs> I'm just gonna go in. It's a powerful knife right now. Oh, okay. That's a great knife. Be careful about this. Careful, Katie. All right. It's dangerous right now. All right. Ah, okay. <laughs> hold it. Mm, hold it. Come on. It's not going to bite you. <laughs> Everybody remember to put the salt in the water. Sure, I remember. Bravo. Bravo. Oh my god. They are asking for you. Cook me, please. Cook me. Love me. Yes, I will cook you, Tintin. Don't drink me. Oh, oh okay. Before. I'm getting a seafood facial. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Oh, we need the um. Yeah, I wasn't sure to you. It's like ready when it sticks oh, to the wall, right? Yeah. Uh, no, it's not ready yet. Uh, it's, no, not, it's not ready yet. It's Stop it here. Mm -hmm. Okay, put on the meat. Ooh, my hair is getting curlier by the second. I think Where? it looks good. No, it's still not ready. What I should have taken a yeah. class in is chocolate. What? <laughs> what are we supposed to use? Don't worry. Okay. It's good? Maybe you need some water, right? Right? Or more wine? No. <laughs> <laughs> These shrimp actually look kind of good. Ooh, are we going to get you to try some seafood today? Nah, bruh. So we are already done. So what we have to do now is to serve. Everything is under control. Now we have to be ready for the mise en place. Mise en place? Plus, mise en place is the term that you use to serve in the dish. Even if maybe you didn't cook it very well, you have to present it very well. Because first you eat with your eyes, so also the mise en place is very important, okay? Mise en place. Okay. Mise en place. Let's do it. Don't forget the branzino. Remember that you have to serve it in different dish. And now I have to take off this, so we will see each other in the other side where we have to judge what you did. Okay? Right. Ciao. 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 All right, guys. All right. Plate it up. There's yeah. an artistry to play. Stay. Stay. I'm trying to take Sorry. you out. I didn't mean to drop your plate. <laughs> That's right. What if the competition was that you have to eat the meal that you just oh. made now? I probably would lose. This is going to be tricky. Ew, his eyeballs turn white. My fish has cataracts. You know what's weird? It doesn't freak me out as much when it's as it's cooked. Oh, Lynn, I'm right there with you. I should have used a little bit more oil. Can I have some of your potatoes? <laughs> yeah, I have extra. Because half of mine are on the floor oh. right now. <laughs> That's pretty, right? My fish is going through hair and makeup. I think I'm finito. Perfecto. Ooh, I love what you did with that, Lynn. No, seriously, I really mean that. With I told fish. you, my fish went through hair and makeup. <laughs> Where's right. your fish? I saw this once. Oh. Boom! Oh, I'm, yeah. I'm debating about putting one other thing on mine. <laughs> I'm trying to show us up. Yes, yes, Lynn. Yes, I am. <laughs> That's artwork right there. It'll look good. I can't guarantee the taste. So. Rest in peace, little one. You ready? All right, guys. Yep. <laughs> I made seafood, mama. Let's well, right now. You're going to have to try it. With preparation complete, it's time for the contestants to face the judges panel. Hello, Katie. How did he go? I hope I uh, held up my end of the deal here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, coming from New York, we have high expectation, of course. Yes. Why you put the lemon in the pasta, Katie? I was going for um, maybe a titch of color, just in case somebody wanted to add a touch of citrus. Never put the lemon in the pasta. Oh, 
Ah, oh, okay. See, I'm learning. I'm already learning. No. <laughs> you left the shellfish in the shell, so it's it's gonna be very hard for us to ah. eat it all together. So I, I would have taken some of the mussels and clams out of her shell, so oh. we can twist the spaghetti and eat a little bit of everything. Same thing for the shrimp. I would have opened some of them and maybe cut into pieces. Oh, okay. So try the now. Hmm. In my opinion, a little bit overcooked. Potatoes work very well. You made one mistake on both of them, which is the lemon. On the fish, you can close one eye on the pasta now. But right. congratulations. Challenge number two is over. So that's right. So, how are you? How did it go? It went well, I think. <laughs> it was my first time cooking seafood, first time semi-tasting it, but uh, it was it was tough. I tried to adapt it and try to make it look as good as I could. Tell me about the pasta. Was it the first time you cooked pasta? Or? No, not the first time I cooked pasta, but the first time I cooked pasta with the ingredients. I kept tasting and I didn't know if it was al dente or just hard. It's al dente. I think it's missing a little bit of salt. Mm -hmm. The fact that the pasta is al dente, it's probably one yeah. of the most important thing, and you made it very, very well. Let's taste the il brandino. I just have to tell you something. When you dip on a fish, you have to be careful because maybe the customer don't know that, so right. don't maybe eat at all. It was your first time, right? Never cut a fish, never touched a fish, never tasted a fish. Well, let me Bravo. say yes. Bravo. 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 Exactly. Bravo. Bravo. It's funny to work in the kitchen, but uh, it's something serious. Don't forget that because right. uh, maybe one day it could be your profession. Thank you. Okay? I'll take that. Hello, Liam. Welcome. Yeah. <laughs> How was the challenge? I learned some things that I never even knew. And I've never cooked the shrimp with the tail and the head on. <laughs> Problem here is that all the ingredients are not very well mixed together. It's hard to eat it as a dish because then you start eating the pasta and then the clam, then the mussel, then the shrimp. So beat all together. Maybe you could take some of the uh, mussels and clams out of the shell. Okay. Uh, Francesco, it's right. Maybe if you take off some, some fish, it's going to be much better next time. But good. The pasta was good. You listen to me. Bravo. <laughs> Overall, very well done. It tastes pretty good. Grazie. <laughs> Very well. So, Lynn. Um, it seems to me you did a, a very good job here. Huh? The potatoes are roasted well. And what about the fish? Tell me something. Why you decide to cut the lemon and not use the lemon in the fish? Oh, I used a little bit of lemon inside the fish. Yes. Just the rind inside and left the uh, slices on the outside if you want it or not. So I didn't want to overpower it too much. But you know what? At the end, you surprised me. Because uh, in a simple way, you just finish this dish with some oil. It was enough to close the dish, no? When we met, I told you, in Italy, usually you need very few little ingredients to make them. Mm -hmm. But it's difficult to make a great dish with a few little ingredients. And, uh, you did a very good job. Thank you. Challenge number two is over for you. <laughs> Katie and I are going to be pretty much head to head. I always like to go in with an open mind and learn the Italian way of cooking. Whatever it takes to win, really, I'm down to do it. If I have to eat a piece of fish, if I have to cook something, if I have to shop, I'm willing to do it. He's a good competitor because he gets everything he needs. And I'm kind of worried about him. I don't know. To be honest, I'm really excited to be here. So anything that's thrown my way, I just am gonna tackle it as best I can. I deserve to win because I might have a little more experience with cooking, but for me, I just wanna make the Italians proud. I wanna make the family proud. If I won, it would just mean that I did it right and I made them proud.